Hello, my friends. Welcome back to Yoga with Megan. I'm so excited that you're here today. Um, let's get ready to do some yoga. So make sure you have a comfortable space. You can be on a rug, maybe you're on a mat. Most important is there's nothing behind you that you're gonna roll back and hit your head on or hurt your body on in any way. All right, so let's all come sit in our comfortable seated position. I'm sitting crisscross applesauce and you're gonna take your two hands and we're gonna greet each other. So remember, the first hand has something special in it, something that we like to do, something we're really good at doing, something we're learning how to do, but we love it anyway. That's this hand. And then in this hand is something that is kind that we do for others. So maybe it's sharing a toy with a brother or sister right now. Or maybe it's helping your mom and dad with some chores around the house. Or maybe it's taking care of our planet. Or right now, maybe it's just staying home inside your house or in your yard to help take care of others. So we take our two hands, special and kind, and we bring them together. And when we do that, you can see that I have something special and kind about me, right? And if I were able to see you, I would see that you have something special and kind too. When we see that we each have something special and kind, we greet each other by saying namaste. So we say namaste to each other. I see the special and kindness in you, and you see the special and kindness in me. Awesome job. Then we get ready for yoga by getting our minds and bodies ready by breathing. So we're gonna take a big breath in through our noses like we're smelling something yummy. And then we breathe out. Now, when we do that, we're pushing our hands away with our bellies. Big breath in. Awesome. You guys do it again with your hands and I'm gonna use my breathing ball. Big breath in. Big breath out. And in. And out. Awesome job, my friends. Once we've greeted each other and we have breathed and we are now ready to focus on our yoga lesson, it's time to begin. So today I'm actually gonna read you guys a book and we're gonna act it out. One of my favorite books called Where the Wild Things Are. Maybe some of you are feeling a little wild at home, right? So maybe some of us are feeling a little wild and we're wild things now. We get to act it out today, all right? So this is Where the Wild Things Are by Maury Sundak. Ooh, Where the Wild Things Are. This is Max. The night that Max wore his wolf suit and made mischief of one kind. There he is. Oh boy, he's making a fort, a tent, and he's being a wolf. So my friends, we are gonna do our wolf pose. We are gonna come on all fours, and we're gonna lean our hands forward, big breath in, and then we're gonna come through to up dog and go ho. Good wolves. Let's try it again. Big breath in. Excellent job, my friends. Uh-oh. What is Max going to do? He's a wild thing. He made mischief of one kind and another. There he is chasing that dog right down the stairs. <gasps> Ready, let's be the dog. We're gonna go into a downward dog pose. So hands come on the floor. Our feet are behind me. See, my toes are tucked behind me on the floor like this. And then we're gonna push up into our down dog pose. Big breath in and out, woof, woof. And in and out, woof, woof. How about one more big breath in and out, woof, woof. Good job. 
job, my friends. Come back down. And let's see what he's gonna do. Uh-oh. Hmm. His mother called him wild thing. And Max said, I'll eat you up. As he was sent to bed without eating anything. There he goes. He does not look happy. All right, we're gonna be the bed that Max gets sent to. So, we're gonna put our feet on the ground, our hands on the ground, and we're gonna lift our bellies up to the sky. Big breath in, lift up, and out, and up, and out. And I am looking straight forward. Nice job. I'm like, my head was like this part of the bed and my arms and my feet and our bellies. Hmm, what is Max gonna do? That very night in Max's room, a forest grew. Look at that. The posts on his bed became trees. So we're gonna start off as a little tree. We're gonna be a little, little tree like this, a big breath in, and we're gonna grow like this, big breath in, and out, and in, and out, and in, and out, and in, and out, until we're a big, huge tree. Beautiful. Actually, we're not a tree like this. We have to be a tree like this. So we're going to put our foot down, baby tree. Your foot here, kid tree. Your foot all the way up, teenager tree. Now for some of my friends, they may want to be a grown up tree. Or some of my friends may want to be a grandma or a grandpa tree. You decide where you want your tree to be, but do not put your foot on your knees. We don't want to hurt our knees. And remember to have something that you are looking at as your focus point that isn't moving. Ready? Let's try the other side. Which kind of tree? Where are your branches? There we go. A parent tree or a grandparent tree. Big breath in and out, come up and come back down. Forest grew and grew. Look at that. You can't even see his room anymore. Now, if you are doing yoga with a friend, a grown up, or a brother or a sister, you're going to do a forest of trees, which means you would have your grown up friend or your brother or your sister, and you're going to hold their hand. You've got your other branch up here, and then you're going to hold tree again. Now, if you don't, like I don't, we can just do it sideways and pretend to hold each other's hands. Big breath in and out and in and out. Good job, let's switch sides, ready? Other side, big breath in and out and in and out. Nice job, my friends. Let's bring it back down and see where he's gonna go with this forest. <gasps> and grew until his ceiling hung with vines and the walls became the world all around him. Look at that. Look at that. And I see the moon. Here it is. 
So friends, we're going to do a different kind of a moon today. Sometimes we do crescent moon, and if you want to, you can do that. There's two ways to do moon. You can bring your arms up and then lean over. Good, and up and lean over the other way. That's a crescent moon, or we could do a half moon. Now, for some of my friends, we're gonna start on our knees. And we're gonna put one foot out and we're gonna bring our arm down and our other arm up and I'm lifting up my leg. Big breath in and out. Good. Or we could do that standing up. So we stand up, we put one foot down we put our hand down, and then we're gonna lift up our leg, big breath in. Oh, my hair is in my face, and out. And in, and out. Good job, let's try it on the other side. So two ways to do it. You're either standing up, uh-oh, there we go. So you're either standing up, your foot comes to the side, you're reaching down and lifting up. You can look down if you want to. Or we are coming to our knees. We're putting one foot out, our arm down, our other arm up, and lifting up. Big breath in and out. Nice job, my friends. Those are hard to do, those half moon poses. Crescent moon and half moon. Those are our two poses for moon pose today. And an ocean bumbled by with a private boat for Max and he sailed off through night and day. There he is on his boat. All right, we're gonna get in our boats. So we're going to come on to our bottoms. Are you guys ready to row in our boat? And we're going to lift up our legs. You can have your hands down like this to help you. Or you can bring them up. Big breath in and out. I'm looking ahead of me. Big breath in and out. Beautiful job, my friends. Let's see where that boat is gonna go. Here we go. And in and out of weeks, and almost over a year to where the wild things are. Look at that. Let's blow Max to where the wild things are. We're gonna be the wind and help him out here. So we're gonna take a big breath in. And we're gonna go. Big breath in. And blow like this. Breath is interesting. So if you hold your hands up, you can breathe like this. And it feels warm on your hands. Or you can breathe like this. And it feels cold. So for our wind breath, we're doing the cold one. Big breath in one more time. And blow. Excellent job. Let's see. Here he goes. And when he came to the place where the wild things are, they roared their terrible roars and gnashed their terrible teeth and rolled their terrible eyes and showed their terrible claws. Look at all that stuff that they're doing. All right. What we're going to do is we're going to do a lion, a wild thing roar. Are you guys ready? A big breath in and a big breath out. Roar. Oh, you 
guys are terrible wild things. Big breath in. And now, one more time. Ooh, I would be scared. But not our friend Max. Till Max said, be still and tame them with the magic trick of staring into all their yellow eyes without blinking once. And they were frightened and called him the most wild thing of all. There he goes. Staring them down. Ready? Let's just sit and stare each other down and say, be still. Here we go. Big breath in. Hold it. And now, let's try one more time. We're going to hold our breath for three seconds. Big breath in. And now, good job. You tamed those wild things and made him king of all wild things. And now, cried Max, let the wild rumpus begin. Here they are. They are going to be, they're gonna be party animals instead of wild things. But first they've made him the king. So my friends, let's put our crowns on our heads. Okay. And you got your crown on your head? Okay. Now we're going to come and we're going to lean forward. Big breath in and out. Good job. Bring that foot back. My friends, if balancing is hard and it's something you're working on, leave your foot down but lean forward. That's a balance too. Or you can try to lift it up. Big breath in and out. Beautiful. Let the wild rumpus begin. Hmm. Look at them. They're all dancing. They're all dancing. Now, when I teach this in the classroom at schools, I usually play Jungle Boogie and we all dance, freeze dance. So, if you want to, and I'll give you guys a second, you can pause the video and play some music or ask a grown up to play some music for you. I don't think that my music is gonna work, which is why I am not playing the music. But let's just see. We could try. All right, let's see if it's gonna work. All right. But what we'll do is either way, if you're doing your own music or if mine is going to work, we're going to do a few freeze dance poses. So we are going to freeze in your best wild thing pose. So it could be, let's see, Ooh, I think it might work, my friends. Play this. Here we go. Um, anything that you think looks like a wild thing. Here's the picture of them all dancing again. Right? So this guy could be fun to try to, to freeze like. I'll show you that in a second. Um, and so when the music plays, we're going to freeze like a wild thing. And when the music goes, I mean, when the music plays, we dance. And when the music stops, we're going to freeze like a wild thing. So here we go. Let's see if it's gonna work. Oh. All right. So you're gonna dance, right? We're dancing. 
kind of funny to dance by myself. And then it freezes. Now I freeze. And then it starts again. Let me see your moves. And now sit back down. There they are going. Look at them now. They're swinging from the vines. So everybody stand up and we're going to swing from the vines. We're going to swing. Big breath in and out and up and down and down and down. Good job. Come sit back down. There they go, swinging from the vines. Oh my goodness, and what are they doing here? There they are, they're marching and lifting him up on their shoulders. There they go, so we're gonna come to the back of our mats for our space, and we're gonna march. Big breath in and out. And in, and out, and in, and out, and backwards, and out, and in, and out. Good job. Come back forwards and find your spot. Wonder, do you think Max is going to stay there forever? Now stop, Max said and sent the wild things off to bed without their supper. He sounds like his mom. And Max, the king of all wild things, was lonely and wanted to be where someone loved him best of all. Then all around from far away across the world, he smelled good things to eat and he gave up being king of where the wild things are. There he is, he's just sitting in his chair so, so lonely. So my friends, stand up and we're going to bring our feet together and we're going to sit down in our chair pose. Big breath in and out. I'll show you what it looks like from the side. Big breath in and out and in and out. So lonely. might be done being a wild thing. But the wild things cried, oh, please don't go. We'll eat you up. We love you so. And Max said, no. The wild things roared their terrible roars and gnashed their terrible teeth and rolled their terrible eyes and showed their terrible claws. And Max stepped into his private boat and waved goodbye. There he goes. Far away. And sailed back over a year and in and out of weeks and through a day. So we're going to get back in our boats again. Remember this? So hands come behind you. You can lift up your legs. And then maybe lift up your hands too. And if you want, you can try to row your boat. Row it in and out of weeks and through a year. Big breath in and out and in and out. Otherwise, you're just here and you can do it this way. Good job. In and out and through a day. 
and into the night of his very own room, where he found his supper waiting for him. Here it is on the table. And it was still hot. Remember that cooling breath I told you about? Let's take our bowl of soup. Here it is. Here's our bowl. And we're gonna blow on it and make it nice and cold. Big breath in. And we're gonna blow so it feels cold. Now, if leaning back makes you go all the way back like that, then just put your toes down. Big breath in and blow it. Big breath in and blow it. Beautiful job, my friends. Max came back home. He had a busy day, it was a wild thing, but he became calmer and was able to come back and have his supper and probably go to bed. So what we're gonna do is we are gonna do our Shavasana. So, Whenever we do Shavasana, we get to see the magic yoga dust brush. Here it is, busy, busy, busy. Right, from all that jungle boogieing and sailing and meeting the wild things and whatever else you did today. And when we stop moving, all the yoga dust settles down. So inside of our heads, we have our thoughts. That's like the yoga dust. And when we're moving and we're doing things and we're thinking about things, those thoughts are busy, busy, busy. And when we take a minute to just stay still, all those thoughts settle down and our brain becomes nice and clear. Oh, see, it's busy. It becomes nice and clear and then it's easier for us to think about things and to make good decisions. But if we move again, it gets busy again. So the object of the Shavasana is to try to stay calm and don't move like the yoga dust brush. And in my classes, I like to put a little bit of yoga dust on everybody if they want it. I'll pretend to put a little bit of yoga dust on you. There you go. Now, I turn off my lights and I turn on my special lights for Shavasana. Okay, so I'm gonna do that. I'm turning off my lights. I don't know if you guys can see me. It's kind of later in the day here, but, ooh, that's very bright. See all my nice, calm stars? And I like to play soft, quiet music when I do Shavasana with you guys, with my students. I have a lot of friends that I teach that are watching this. But in my house, I'm not gonna play the music. You're welcome to play your own music. And you're gonna lie down, all the way down. And hands can be on your belly or right by your side. And you're looking up or you're closing your eyes. And you're breathing in and out. And in and out. A big breath in and a big breath out. Taking a few minutes to make yourself really calm, letting your thoughts settle down just like the dust did in the yoga brush. Big breath in, big breath out. And in, and out. And in, and out. Nice job, my friends. 
Now we're going to take a big breath in and our arms come way up over our heads. And a big breath out and we're going to squeeze our knees. We're still lying down. Squeeze our knees. And then a big breath in. We sit up, crisscross applesauce. I'm going to turn my light back on, but you guys keep yours off just because it's kind of dark in here. We sit up, crisscross applesauce. And we bring our hands to our heart center. And we think about someone that we love that could use a hug today. And we take we close our eyes and picture their faces. It can be lots of people. It can be one person. It could be an animal. The animal or the person or the animal animals or the people it could be alive or not living. That's up to you. Take a big breath in and send your hugs. Let's try one more. Ready? Think about your animals or your people. See their faces. Take a big breath in and send your hugs. Nice job, my friends. Let's bring our special kind hands together in our hearts. We thank each other and respect each other by having kind hearts. Can you guys say kind hearts? Kind hearts. Then we bring our hands to our mouth and we remember to use our kind words kind words. Good job. Hands to our forehead. We think kind thoughts. Say kind thoughts. Nice kind thoughts. And then we say namaste. The special and kindness in me sees the special and kindness in you. Beautiful job, my friends. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day and I will see you next time. Bye.